When you're working with After Effects and you're making either your animatic or you're submitting some rough drafts or uh, anything where you're going to need to have some critique about it, you're going to want to put the time code on the video so that it's easy to talk about specific timing. Um, and so let's do that. We're going to make a new um, adjustment layer. Make sure that's on top. And I'll just call this time code. And then over here in the effects, if we just search for time, it's right here on your time code. And let's apply that to the adjustment layer. We get uh, the default right here. And if we scroll along now, we're getting the time code in the window. I'm gonna pull up the title save zone and put it down here towards the bottom. And also maybe make the font a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing. And then maybe don't need to show the box and uh, make the type. So it works on both dark and black. I'm going to make it kind of a gray. So it's easy to see what's going on there. And remember, this is in hours, minutes, seconds, frames. Okay. So under this display format, you want to leave it at SIMTI uh, so that we can see what's going on. Cool. Uh, once I have that set up, I'd probably lock that down so I don't accidentally move it. And then I would make sure I render it with the timecode in there. Uh, so adding timecode to your videos, good idea for the animatic and also for your rough drafts so that we can easily reference different parts and make changes without having to be like, oh, that part with the airplane. You can say no, right around 24 seconds, four frames. Cool. Thank you very much.